Jason, let's start first with Davis Baker and then Jed May. Uh, hey, Severe. Uh, just wondering, is, is your mindset uh, going into the Kentucky game any different this year since their record is not normally as good as it uh, has been in years past? No. They're still a um, quality SEC opponent. Um, they're at the high major level. They're at Power 5 conference with a big-time coach and big-time players. So we're treating every game um, like, like they are. And uh, we're just trying to, trying to come out and get the win at the end of the day. Hey, Sabir. Um, KD mentioned there was a, a deep conversation <laughs> that you guys had where, you know, kind of, I guess, telling people, you know, you can, even though you're a scorer, you can maybe pass a little more, stuff like that. How has that, I guess, maybe changed the team over the past week or so? And has this team, I guess, been having more fun over the past week or so since that game last Wednesday? Um, yes. I mean, there's, there's been significant improvement in all those areas that you mentioned. And um, yes, we're, we're getting back to, we're not really getting back, but we're kind of reminding each other, emphasizing what, what it's like on how we are successful, what it's been like for us to win those games. And at, and at, and at our best, we are having fun. We are playing for each other. Um, we are sharing the ball. So that's been a point of emphasis for us in practice. And uh, it was definitely a point of emphasis for us at Ole Miss when we got the win. All right, let's have Mark Weiser and then Mike Griffith. Sevier, do you remember the uh, the atmosphere surrounding the Kentucky game last year just because of, of you know, the program's history that they have and the, the talent that they have? And, and what will it be like, you think, obviously the attendance isn't what it can be, um, you know, when, and, and they're having a down down season so far. I mean, uh, you know, what's your memory of that matchup? I was, it was a greatly anticipated matchup. It was a great game. Um, it was one of the best atmospheres I've been in. Um, um, last year, but this year, obviously, with COVID kind of interrupting um, or interfering with the with the attendance this year, obviously, it's gonna isn't gonna be the same. But um, it, we're an SEC play, so every game is intense. Um, there, I mean, if you just look at the SEC record, I believe they're three and one. Um, so obviously, they're one of the better teams in SEC playing right now, and um, we're trying to make our way and show people why we're one of the better teams. And we just came off a great win at Ole Miss, and we're trying to keep that streak going. So we're treating every SEC, every game, like it's the national championship. We're trying to prepare for it as best as we can, and we're trying to win games. Thanks. Um, yeah, hey, Severe, just, just to, I guess, one more question on the, the, the team meeting. Was, was that after the Auburn game, and was there somebody that said, hey, we need to talk, or was it something you called, or was that just, did it just kind of happen organically? Uh, that's just something I want to keep between the team. Um, I don't really want to go into further detail. Um, we are respectfully, but uh, that's just something we, we did as a team, um, and we we came out better for it. And then to follow up with something Coach Crean said about you earlier, the the joy that you play with, the happiness you bring, your popularity. How do you draw the line between being that joyful, happy, ball distributing point guard and and the leader that has to get on his teammates sometimes? Is that hard for you, or is that something you just had to grow into with more seniority on the team? Um, no. I don't think it's necessarily hard for me, but I think it's been easy for me for most of my basketball career because the way, like you said, I am happy. I am joy. I am joyful. Um, I share um, my happiness, my joy for the game. So I think my teammates know it's coming from a place of love. So when I actually get on you, um, you know, they know I'm, and I, they know I want what's best for the team. I want what's best for them. So me getting on could be like, hey, why didn't you shoot that shot? I mean, there's not. <laughs> I want you to shoot the shot. Or it could be from actually like, man, you got to get that loose ball and we got to get that rebound. So um, I know my teammates know I'm coming from a good place. They know I'm not trying to, you know, um, degrade them or, or, you know, make them feel bad. But I really want to win. I know they want to win. And uh, we're, we're finally coming together as a unit um, to, to be able to win some games. All right. And let's finish up with Anthony Dasher and then Augusta Stone. Hey, Severe. Um, Scoring aside, as uh, far as KD is concerned, just kind of explain what he is kind of bringing to the offense. What, what's he enabling the rest of you guys to do differently now? Um, he's bringing spacing, um, you know, be able to shoot the ball. He's bringing, and he's also another guy that can be a playmaker, a guy who can play in ball screens and get downhill attack and make guys better. Right, thanks, man. It's severe. Just going back to kind of, you know, communication and, and seeing that, you know, the team's getting better. What have y'all done to help improve on the communication? And you as a leader, how have you tried to help, you know, get everybody on the same page when y'all are playing? Um, I'm sorry, can you repeat that one more time? 
<laughs> so I got to unmute myself again. Um, yeah. So just communication. Y'all talked about how you guys needed to improve on it. And I just wanted to know what have you been working on and how have you seen those improvements? Yeah, just by, um, like Coach says, excessive talk and, and great um, technique. That's what he's been saying in practice. So over talking, you know, no matter how little it is or how big it is, just keep talking throughout practice. Everyone has a voice. Everyone needs to be heard. Everyone should be heard. And um, everyone has a point of view that, that's, that's important to us and that could potentially give us an edge in the game. So um, we're all, um, you know, encouraging each other to, you know, tell us what we need to get better at or suggest something that could be, be done better in film or in the court when we're doing practice and anything. So that's one thing we've been doing for communication. And the second part of the question was... Um, that was the whole question. Okay, okay but yeah. <laughs> Um, and coach, you know, he's been he's been constantly um, trying to find ways to to you know make us better as leaders. I know individually, he's been challenging me every day um, to keep my voice and to constantly share the knowledge that I have that some of my teammates may not have. So um, he's doing a great job. Um, I know I've seen improvement as me in me as a leader this year already, and um, I know he's going to continue to stay on all of us and me as well. So thank you. Thanks so much.